On Monday, Pastor Brent warned us not to envy the way of the violent man. You know, the kind of guy who takes what he wants and doesn't care who he steps on to get it. The Proverbs, it tells us that the Lord's curse is on the house of a man like this. But in chapter 3, verse 34, we get to see the other side of the coin. We get to see where it says that to the humble, God gives favor. Now, to make room for humility in our lives, we need to send pride packing. And that's easier said than done, of course. So let me give you two practical, outward-focusing things that we can do to cultivate humility and to starve pride. One, it's to worship God, because you can't exalt yourself if you're busy praising the only one worthy of being exalted. Uh, When we direct our worship in the right place, we'll find that we're going to reap a blessing of peace. You know, we'll experience peace because we won't always have to worry about protecting our own fragile pride or we won't have to struggle to come out on top. Now instead, we can be content that the Lord allows us to share in his victory over sin and death. You know, not because we're great, but because he is. And the second thing we can do is we can serve. You know, we serve because, we we serve to combat pride because we can't think of ourselves if we're thinking of others. Now C.S. Lewis, he described humility, not as thinking less of ourselves, but as thinking of ourselves less. And as we, as we learn to forget about ourselves, as we learn to put others first, we get to follow in the great example of Jesus. And we also get to show the world a glimpse of the one who did not come to be served, but instead came to serve. So keep your mind outward focused. Keep it focused on worshiping God. Keep it focused on serving others. And if you do, you'll find that your pride will shrink and your humility it will grow. You're going to find that you'll be blessed from God, and you'll also become a blessing to others.